Okay, right before we get into the video, I just want to say a very few a percentage of you guys are subscribed. So if you haven't subscribed already, please subscribe. It will mean a lot for this channel to grow. Other than that, let's get into the video. What's going on guys? Smash was 4339 here back with another video. And in today's video, I'm going to teach you guys how to increase FPS on your Roblox games. Because sometimes when you have an old PC or a PC for a while, your FPS can go from really good at the beginning and then just go down. So I'm going to teach you guys how to fix that. So enough talking, let's get into the video. So the very first thing I want you to do is hit the Windows key on your keyboard and then search up settings. And then once you're at settings, click find a setting and then search up game mode. Find something related to turn on game mode and then make sure it's on. If it's off then like this and just turn it on. Because basically Windows will optimize your PC for a better playing experience by turning off things in the background as mentioned here. And if you want to learn more, you can click more about game mode here. So yeah, just make sure this is on and that's the very first step. And the very second step is to make sure you're still on the settings and search up graphics. So you can see graphics settings right here. And then there will be a lot of apps here. I just want you to go underneath the custom options for apps. Click on browse. And then up here where it says this PC, left click that in this uh, box once. This PC should be selected, delete that by clicking backspace and then type whatever I have on the screen exactly as I do. Percentage sign, app data and then percentage sign again. Click enter. And then here it will say you're in a roaming file up here. Just click on app data here, then you'll be in actual app data. Then click on local, double click on local. Scroll down if you until you see Roblox here. And keep in mind, I downloaded Roblox to the roblox.com and not through the Microsoft Store. So this is how I have it. Double click on here. Scroll down until you see versions and then double click there. And then to see which version you have, make sure it's the latest one on the date here. As you can see, the 6th of October, which was today. And then there's 21st of February. So this was the latest one. So double click on that. And then at the bottom here, there will be Roblox Player Beta and Roblox Player Launcher EXE files. So you need to um, optimize the, optimize both of them, but you can't do it at the same time if you do it one at a time. So we'll do it one at a time here. Uh, there it is. And then left click on options. And then here, click on high performance. So that way, instead of making it sometimes power saving mode, which will decrease the performance, it will always be on high performance mode. Click on save there. Then Roblox Game Client will be on high performance. Click on Browse again. Left click this, delete this. Do the same thing with the other one. Double click on versions again. Latest one. This time do it for the launcher. There you go. Click on Options, high performance again. This will make sure now Roblox will be playing on high performance no matter what, so yeah, it will, be the, it will give you the highest performance. Okay, so the third step on how to increase FPS on your Roblox games is to click the windows and search up power plan. It will say edit a power plan right here on the control panel, open that up. I want you to up here, go to power options, click that. And then it will be on balanced most of the time or whatever it's on I want you to click on high performance this way your computer will always be on high performance when you're doing activities or playing Roblox or any other game and some PCs also have ultimate performance if they if you have a graphics card I don't have a I don't have a graphics card I have an Intel graphics card so I don't have it but if you have a ultimate performance just click on ultimate performance but other than that your Roblox games will be on high performance okay the next step is to click on your windows again and then I want you to search up advanced system I can't spell advanced system view advanced system settings let's click on that and then it will automatically bring you to the system properties and on, on the advanced tab and then you'll see performance just click on settings here the one will automatically be on let Windows choose what's best for my computer if it's not then good it should be adjust for best performance. So click on that. 
And then some things I would recommend to keep on is smooth edges on screen fonts and show thumbnails instead of icons. And then just click apply. And yeah, basically it will get rid of all these shadows. See, look, there's a outline now instead of the actual app moving along. So just get rid of all the fancy fancy graphics and then it will be only for best performance. So yeah, after you click apply, click OK and then you can X out of that. Okay, so the next step is to go to your settings app again and then go to gaming. Like if you're on Windows 10, it should be uh, Xbox logo for gaming. And if you're Windows 11 like me, you can see gaming on the left side here. Then click on captures and then underneath recording preferences, record what happens when something cool happens in your game. Windows will automatically record it. Click turn that off because sometimes because it will impact your FPS on the game. So just turn it off. And if you can, then just turn off the entire game by itself because it'll still be in the background waiting to be recorded. So just turn it off if you can. And if you use a Xbox game bar, then don't turn it off. But other than that, you're good to go. Okay, the next step is to get a game booster like Razer Cortex I have here. The link will be in the description to get it. And this will basically, as it says here, unlock your PC's full potential and make sure and it will enhance your game performance at the very max, taking it the best gaming experience. So when you're on the website, I have linked in the description. Just click on download now. Save it onto your downloads. And then run the installation. But I already have it installed, so I'm going to show you then. Okay, once you're at Razer Cortex, it should look something like this. You may need to create an account. And then once you're here, up here where it says System Booster, click there. And then click on Scan. It will scan your computer for any junk files and everything. And it will get rid of that, which may be slowing down your computer and your Roblox FPS. After it's done that, it may take some time, but after it's done that, click on Clean. And it will just clean all that stuff for you. Then click on done. Next thing you want to do is go up here to game booster. And then once you're about to um, play a game, just click on boost now. So once you're about to play Roblox, click on boost now. And then you can launch Roblox. It's alright because I'm recording right now. So that's a little bit bad. But other than that, I'm getting 60 FPS while recording. It was pretty good. Because normally I don't get this much. Even recording. So... So the, this step is to click escape on your keyboard and up here go to settings and go down to graphics mode. It may be automatic but I want you to put it on manual because I'm getting pretty good FPS even when I'm recording. Now depending if you have done this or not it may or may not affect everyone so I'm just going to get into it. On your keyboard hit Windows R and then here a run app should be opened and then here I want you to type percentage sign T-E-M-P which is short for temporary then percentage sign again now judging if you have done this right now or not there might not be a lot of folders like I recently got rid of this so that's why I don't have a lot of folders but if you haven't done this before you can get a lot of folders and this kind of clean up some space on your disk on your hard drive so yeah what you want to do is control A to select everything and hit delete now these folders are just temporary and now they're created and if they're not in use they'll just stay in this folder which can clog up a lot of space and performance. So once you get this um, file in use error just uh, check on the box do this for all current items and hit skip. Now I've done 12,000 items from the temp file. Now you may have gone a lot more and cleaned up like so much gigabytes of space like hundreds of gigabytes of space. Now the next step is hit Windows R again. This time here, you want to type in prefetch like that. Click on enter. Again, just random files you don't need. Control A to select and hit delete. Uh, do the thing again. Check this and skip. And then there is one more thing. So just write temp. That's it. Just temp. No percentage sign or anything. Just temp. Click on continue. Again, random files you don't need. Control A, delete skip that again and if this is folder access denied check this and hit continue instead okay after that's been deleted go to your recycle bin and delete everything that's there because all those files ended up here so yeah just empty recycle bin 
or you can control A and hit delete and this can free up some space as well. You may get a folder access denied again, just check this and continue. And yeah, I've cleared one gigabyte of space, but for you, you may clean like 10 gigabytes of space if you haven't done this before, or hundreds of gigabytes. If you want to try this, then go ahead. I want you to search up Roblox FPS Unlocker. Now this essentially just unlocks FPS on your Roblox games. And Roblox won't ban you if you use this, so don't worry, this is completely safe. Once you've done that, go to a GitHub website by AX Austin. <laughs> I click on that and then go down here and download the zip file so you, you may need to click on assets here and I want you to download the zip file I'm gonna save it onto my desktop and click save now just open it up and then you will see Roblox FPS unlocker.exe just double click on that the terminal may come up you just need to wait and it'll go away and then yeah it's on and before you do anything up down here you may see it here if not you, you can click it and it'll be there just right click on it some settings you should keep is unlock roblox player you can also do it for the roblox studio and check for updates now your fps cap make sure that's on none now i'm gonna hop into a game and see now i'm running at an impressive 70 fps here which is pretty nice because i've never gone this high and yeah, this Roblox FPS unlocker works. See, look, I'm getting 80 FPS up here before I was only getting 60. So this is a really good way on to get to get more FPS on your computer. And before, and anytime you want to hop into a Roblox game, you need to go and make sure and double click on this to run it. And then after it's done running, you can go to your Razer Cortex and then boost it and then done. You're pretty much good to go for Roblox. So if you found this video helpful, please leave a like and subscribe because I feel like this may have helped a lot of people considering I went from like 50 to 60 FPS up to 80 FPS. Um, and yeah, so just experiment this out. Try all the tips I've said in throughout the entire video. And yeah, other than that, I'll see you in the next video. See ya.